Hey everybody, we are back for our conclusion to our 2018 series. This is Menu 24 Southwest Style Beef and Black Beans. Now because I had no idea what I did with the case that I had remaining, the last one, Garrett stepped up, hooked me up with this ration, Menu 24, so we can complete this thing out. Thank you, Garrett. Huge thank you, Birdman. Let's bust into this thing and see what we've got inside. And it looks like it's the same company. We have Sopaco. Take a look. Try our luck with a peelable seal if I can get my fingers in it. One thing I noted with this, it does have a little bit of air in here. So I, I'm hoping we don't have any spoilage, but we'll find out. Well, no instant foul odors. Everything out of the bag. Marble pound cake. FRH. Accessory packet. Spoon. Cheese spread. Mocha cappuccino instant powder. Okay. It's exactly what I wanted with uh, chili. Apple pieces and spice sauce. Tortillas chipotle. Well, that is a bonus. And then lastly, our main Southwest style beef, black beans and sauce. And our accessory packet. Beverage base raspberry. Gum, moist towelette salt and TP. Well, let's get drinks made, things heated up, and let's get some stuff onto a tray. Interesting. This was sealed into it. <laughs> Crazy. Mm, nice oily beef stick with some teriyaki juice in there. A little bit of queso. Set that right there. And of course, our chipotle tortillas. Why they don't use more chipotle and stuff, I have no idea. Ordinarily, I would heat this up, but that FRH is so stuffed full of those spiced apples and that Southwest style beef and beans, uh, I just couldn't get anything else in there. Why they don't make a larger FRH like they use in Europe or Asia, I have no idea, but I guess it's just to confound the troops in the field. And just as a FYI, I still have just a small dash of this cappuccino powder on the bottom that we're going to use for our dessert. Okay, guys, I've been sitting here waiting for like 10 minutes. This thing is still not heated up. I mean, the element is hot, but the food isn't hot. We spend the most amount of money on military spending in the entire world. And yet, we have to use the smallest FRH bag in the known universe. Are you telling me that we cannot spend any more money for like a larger bag with a different kind of heating unit that will actually work? 
So as a lesson to the bean counters out there, we're going to use the Jacksonville Fed Biz Foods. We're gonna use this ration with a legit heating element to get this food rocking and rolling. Now that's how a heater is supposed to work. Yep, this thing is one bad mamma jamma. Now I'm gonna try to, to fish this thing out of here without burning myself. This thing is so hot, it's kind of burning my fingers. I can't even touch the tear notches, man. It's so bloody hot. Yeah, we'll get that all out of there. Uh, we. You can see the steam coming off of that stuff. Yeah. Why can't we use a real FRH? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I do have the spice apples. They're still in here. I want them to be nice and toast when we use them. So they're just going to sit in there and be happy for just a little longer. But why this is nice and toasty, let's give this stuff a try. See, there's little chunks of beef in here. Corn, pepper, again, I'll list all the ingredients right down there on the bottom. Looks like we got some red beans, pinto beans, something to that effect. Now let's give this a try on its own. It actually tastes like legit beef. You can actually have that nice little chew, that nice bite, and you can feel like the individual striations in the actual beef. Nice and chewy, very good. A little kind of a tomatoey taste. Tastes like a little bit of like a chili seasoning, maybe a little cumin in here. And you get a little sweet hint of this corn. Mm. And it gives you a nice little juicy bit of flavor. And like I said, just that hint of sweetness. Now, what you could do with your tortillas, and I'm really kind of pissed off that I didn't uh, put these in with that heater, but like I said, they were already open. And if I had a large heater, these would have went in the heater, and my cheese would have went in the heater as well. But they were already open, so it just is what it is. Let's put a little bit of this on our chipotle tortilla. We'll take a look at that. We'll give that a bite. It's not going to be as good as it should be, but we're going to give it a go. It works really well together. You get that nice tangy flavor of your main and the chewiness of the tortilla. It just blends seamlessly together. It works so very well. Now we're going to hit it with some cheese. This would be a great opportunity for uh, some red pepper flake to be in a seasoning kit or the the, the red chili powder, and maybe some of this uh, jalapeno cheese. But I understand probably only about 50% of the serving members that actually have to eat this stuff really like spicy food. The rest like all that bland stuff. But this would definitely be something that if you don't like any spice, that you'd be trading to somebody else. Mm. That cheese adds some nice flavor, but it almost overpowers the sauce that is inside of your Southwest beef. I do like it. I would prefer it to be a little hotter, but that's just me. Matter of fact, let's gobble this whole thing down. It's actually pretty darn tasty. Mm. And we'll polish that down with some of our Type 3 raspberry drink. The only issue I have with this raspberry drink, well, actually kind of a lot of these, is this stuff whatever dye they use actually will stain plastic it will stain well it'll leave residue inside of metal thank god it doesn't do it with glass but mm, nice flavor a little bit of raspberry of course of course it's got that artificial flavor this would be a great addition if you had one of those uh effervescent tablets a noon one if you had like a watermelon one plop it in there and give you that little fizzy action It'd almost be like a soda. It'd be perfect. And honestly, I don't know what the beef stick would go with. This probably would be something that I would hang on between meals and snack on. But maybe not because these are very, very oily. So if you're walking and, and you can't actually stop to use water or something to get it on your in your palate, that could be a deal breaker. It's got a real tanginess to it. It doesn't have a very strong teriyaki or I don't really taste any teriyaki whatsoever but it's definitely got some kind of tang going on to it kind of like a 
I'm almost coppery kind of a, a taste. And like I said, it does leave your tongue and the inside of your mouth a little oily. But this would be something that I might hold over for like Radio Watch or something like that to help uh, that hour just pass away just a little longer. Well, after we gobble all this down, we would do our dessert. And we're going to try to do something special because when you're stuck out in the field, and being in the field is something that I definitely know about because I was in the field artillery and not just artillery. We lived up to our name and we lived in the field constantly. I mean, even if we weren't in the field, we would go out in the field for the day just to practice over and over and over. So we'll slide this over here. We're going to take our marble pound cake. It looks so nice and pristine. Well, we're going to take a little bit of it and set it aside. We've got a nice bed of marble pound cake. Even got a little flavoring over here now. Then we're going to take our nice hot spiced apples and sauce. Well, if we can actually get the whole package open. And you can see all that yummy goodness. We're going to pour that right over the top. And if you want to save some, of course, you can save some, which will do that. And with that little bit of mochaccino powder, we're going to pour a little bit of that right over the top. And this is going to be sublime that we can have with our instant mochaccino powder or cappuccino drink. Well, it's like, what the hell? What a tongue twister. Mocha cappuccino instant powder. Yikes. So that is all nice and clean. Oh, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, dogs, cats. Look how lovely that looks. If you had just a little bit of sugar, you could also dust just the slightest bit of sugar on there too. If only we had a griller to crisp this up. Oh, that is a sweet tooth delight. This nice spice sauce tends to soak into this maple pound cake a little bit, man. And it just gets in there, and then you get that dash of mocha cappuccino powder. It just kind of gives it a little chocolatey kind of flair to it. Mmm. The apples being all heated, too, that gives it that nice little sweetness, fruitiness to it. Man, outstanding. And this has been sitting here for about 10, 15 minutes, so this is going to be nice and cool, but it should go quite well. Oh, it does. It's lightly flavored, but it's not super sweet because of the amount of water that I put in there. So it gives a nice contrast, a nice balance. Well, everybody, this was menu number 24, Southwest Style Beef and Black Beans. Definitely a good ration. I could always see why Kiwi Dude enjoyed this very much. And if you don't know or you're not aware, he did leave a cryptic message saying that he is currently looking for rations and he might be doing a return back to YouTube, which would be a huge treat for all of us. Aside from Steve1989, Kiwi Dude is the closest one of us to get to almost 100,000 subscribers. I believe right now, even though he hasn't put out a vid in several years, I believe he still has like 92 or 93,000 people. So hopefully when we get back, you guys will crush that like button and subscribe to him and get him that special YouTube trophy that or plaque or whatever the hell it is that that guy richly deserves because he was such a huge influence in the ration community. And uh, he was one of my buddies, and I just missed him, Crystal, and the rest of his family. So hopefully they really do get back into this. And now my dogs are going crazy over there. They're saying it's our turn to act like yahoos. And they are going to sample some of this stuff because they are my MRE taster dogs. And I will see you all on my next review. Bye. <laughs>